everybody, welcome back to my channel, Made With Love. My name is Heather and I have these little wooden um, Santa and Elf. I bought these last year for Christmas and I didn't do anything with them. So I'm going to paint them this year. Put them out to the They're quite longer than I thought they were, only because they were wrapped in that package. But I do like, look at little wooden puppets. Uh, I don't really like their face, not so much. It's okay, but I'm going to just paint them. Just lay this out so I can make sure that they oh. Making sure that all their pieces are here. They are. I've had that before. Sometimes you'll be missing like an arm or something. So I'm just going to be painting them with just my acrylic paints. I just have these little tubes. It's called the Artist Series. They're just little 12 mils. I buy these at Dollarama. I get like, um, I think it's 24 or 28, I don't know, for about $4. You get a whole bunch of these little tubes. So that's what I'm going to be using. And of course my paint brushes. So I think I'm going to start start with Santa because he's going to be pretty easy. He's just going to be um, his arms, legs, and his jacket. I'm just going to paint red. I'm going to paint his hat red. His um, feet will be black. Like I said, I didn't really like, I, mean, I like the belt, but I've got another idea for the belt. The same with the buttons. So I mean, I could even just paint this side because I didn't really like this face. I want to do something different with the face. So I think I'm going to paint the back side of the Santa. Then I don't have to worry about that. And let's see, this little elf. Yeah, same thing. I think I'm just going to paint the back sides of them. Then I can always do something different you know, like next year. Because some of these you can do like a double sided. So when they hang up and if it spins, you know, like spin where you hang it, then you get this two sides, you hang it in the window. So that's what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna paint the back of this one too. So it's gonna be easy. I'm just gonna mostly just paint the elf in green. So I'm gonna paint the elf green and Santa red, and then let that all dry, and then I will come back when I've got them basically painted. All right, so I've got oops, the Santa and the elf uh, painted. I'm just waiting for the hair on my little elf guy to finish drying. So I'm just going to move him aside and I'm going to continue working on Santa. So for Santa, I painted you know, mostly red. Um, his boots I painted black and his face I painted with the peach. So I'm going to start with his beard. So I've got some of this faux fur. So I just cut a small chunk out gonna put it right where I kind of think I should have it but it just now I just need to angle it just because what did I do with the oh, there it is just because I don't want to have like a square beard so I'm just gonna in the back just trim down Exact on my blade is just not cutting through. I think you're gonna have to go and find a replacement blade. Okay, sorry, I grabbed a new blade, I put it in, and then I didn't realize it wasn't recording, so I've cut his beard out. I'm just gonna fix this side. So he's got a New blade, it's a little bit, you know, it's really sharp. It's got to fix this a little bit more rounded here. There we go, so it's not so choppy. And then I'm just going to fluff it out. Oops. That, it's still 
And then from this side, because it's a little choppy, I'm just taking my scissors and I'm just trimming off some of this extra little bit of fabric. Try not to cut the fur part. I'm just cutting some of this mesh back stuff because it's just really choppy right there. Just want to make it a little more round. Oops. Looks better. Now I've got Santa's beard made. And so we'll just get ready to put that on in just a minute. But before I do that, I want to get the fur on his hat. So I have this uh, fur ribbon. Oops, I need not that much. And this is sticky, but I am still going to put uh, some hot glue on just to help hold it in place. A little bit better, I find. Sometimes the sticky tape oops, just doesn't hold it as securely as I would like it to be. Let's put that across this hat. And same with his gloves. I'd like a little bit of fur on his glove. Now, I didn't take it apart. I, I should have, but I just, I didn't take these guys apart to paint or anything. They're just kind of like little key ring circles, so they're pretty easy to take off. But just right now with my arm, I just wasn't sure if I could do that. So I just decided just to leave the rings on. And I just want a little bit of fur on his gloves. And a little bit of fur on his boots. I'm not hot gluing the fur on the gloves or the boots only because I need to be able to get this to go around the little rings. And I know if I try to put the glue, I'm going to burn myself in hot glue. Santa's got fur on his boots and his glove. And then up here for his hat, I've got some pom-poms. So I wasn't sure if I want to do a white pom-pom or the red pom-pom, but I think I like the red. So I'm going to glue the red pom-pom up here on his hat. beard on. So I'm going to put the glue actually like on the beard. Santa's looking good. And these extra pieces here that I had cut from the sides, I'm actually going to use these for his like sideburn kind of hair. I'm just going to trim it off. I know I say usually don't snip that faux fur, but I think I will in this case. Making sure these are pretty even. Just a little bit.
hair, so Santa's got his beard and his hair and his hat are done. Now I'd like to do his belt. So I have these faux leather strips. I don't know, I really couldn't see the colors. I'm trying to find the black. It's not the black. This is the black one. I can't see the navy blue or the dark gray and the black always look the same. Always hard to trim perfectly straight. And I didn't cut it long enough or, or not long enough, wide enough. Long enough, I don't know. There. Just gonna make sure I can get that will work. Trim this, make it a little more straight. his belt on. All these glue strings are just everywhere and then this faux fur is also just everywhere. And the glue stick does not want to go in. trying to find something for buttons for his jacket and I have these little mini felt pads and I thought they were perfect size so I'm going to glue these on. They are already pretty sticky but I'm still so those stick does not want to stay. I think I'm still just going to fix these. Try this again with the glue stick. Not want to go in there. Is something hot? There's a chunk of glue stuck right there. Try it again. There. Now the glue, glue stick is finally gone in. I'm going to lift up his beard. I'm just going to do a couple more of these buttons down on his coat. stay in the glue gun. I'll try that in a minute when I need it. Okay. And then I've got these, I'm just going to do his belt buckle. I've got these sticker, these fabric uh, sticker sheets I've had for quite a few years. I don't even think they sell these anymore. Can't even tell you how long ago I bought these. I'm just looking. So I've got this one that's the cream and a gold and I got this one that's pink and green. I was just trying to find something for his belt buckle. I think I'll go with the gold. I was thinking if I could do the green. I also do the green, and then I've got some, I know I do. I will use the green. Then I won't have to cut you know, into a brand new piece, but I just want one green. as much of this pink as I can.
And even when my arm's not hurting, sometimes I have trouble getting this backing off the stickers. Sometimes, there we go. I'm gonna stick it on. Let's see. There. We go. And I also have these other sticker sheets. This one's blue and silver with the snowflake. This is green and gold with the Christmas trees. So I'm gonna put a Christmas tree in the center of his belt buckle. on there. I will save them for his his boots because I do want that on his boots. Everything is just sticky. Christmas tree in the middle of his belt buckle. And I did want to use some of these little, okay, they're, they're both there, just right here on the tips of his toes. I just thought this would be kind of neat to put a couple of these little gems down. left some of those little um, wires on the stones and they kind of look like little shoelaces kind of thing. I mean, if I don't like them, I can always trim them off, but right now I think I might like them like that. And then to finish off his gloves, I want to add the ones, let's see, the snowflake on his gloves. Yeah, I think I'll do the snowflakes on his gloves and the snowflake up on his hat. I was going to do the Christmas trees, but I think I like the snowflake better. Put the snowflake up there, it just kind of hides that hole because I don't want that hole to be seen where the little hanger used to be. Santa is 
mostly done. I just have to do his eyes and his nose, which I will do in a minute because I haven't quite figured out what I want, how I want to finish their faces yet. So I'm going to set Santa aside and I'm going to do the body of the little elf here. So I painted his hat. I gave him some hair so I know where his ears are. I didn't really like the way this hat is pointed because I wanted to change that up. So for him, I was just going to do this ribbon across the top of the hat. I wanted to hide those little points, so I have to have the ribbon just a little bit higher. got black paint on the white fur. Okay, well, I'll just leave that for now. I'll fix that in a minute. And then for him, I grabbed a white pom-pom or the green pom-pom. I'm going to do the green pom-pom. And a little bit of the fur on his gloves as well. glue everywhere. Just the faux fur is sticking to me. Oops. A little bit on his boots. I've got some of this other fur trim here. I'm going to see if I can Gonna use up this piece here. There. And then for his little um, elf boots, I've decided to go with some pom poms. So I got these oops, dark green and a lighter green. I'm gonna put do the dark green on the front and the lighter green on the back. All the little glue webby things. There. Now I just got to do his collar, which I need to use. 
This is going to be a little bit harder to get this in here. So. outfit done. I was going to put, um, for his gloves, I was going to put, I think I will put the Christmas trees on him. So, there they are. Two more Christmas trees because I gotta do his gloves. I'll do a couple trees on his hat. I'm just going to leave the one on right now. Actually, maybe I'm going to change that. Let's see, I've got this. I know what to do. I've got this more of this diamond pattern here. Let's see. How many take to go across? That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to cut out another strip of this and I'm going to put it down the front of his jacket too.
So those three will fit there. Just get the sticker backing off. There we go. I'm going to take this tree off. Up here, and I'll put the tree in the center one. There we go. I didn't mean to cut the whole way through, that's okay. Just want to try to get this done in one piece. outfit now done. Just have to do their faces so I'll be right back. I just gotta go get the supplies for their faces. All right so I've decided to do googly eyes for the little oh, so I got these ones here they've got the little green like eyeshadow and little um, eyelashes and then this one just the white but it also has the eyelashes. So I thought Santa do be white. I was trying to find um, red ones. I couldn't find two that were the same size. So Santa will just have little white ones. And then for the little elf, he's all in green. So I found the one with the green. 
I don't know. I like googly eyes when on certain things. This product is just really fun to be able to hang up and have. There goes my whole oh, hot glue gun. See, like, how cute that looks with the googly eyes. And I'm just going to draw on their faces and I have their nose and their noses rolled off the counter too. So I'm just going to do little pom-poms for their nose. So I have to go find the pom-poms. They just, so when the glue gun fell or something, they got pulled and they're on the floor. So I'll be back in just one second. Okay, so I've got a little pink nose for the elf. And a red nose for Santa. So I'm gonna kind of stick his nose on the beard. Oops. Or maybe actually maybe yeah, maybe just above the beard. And just right there. And I just got a red marker. I'm just gonna draw a little smiley face. And I don't need to draw a face on Santa because he's got his beard. I'm just going to use the other side and make it a little bit thicker. Elf kind of turn into a girl elf. Just gonna add some lipstick to her. So there's my elf, and there's my Santa. Now I took the hanger off. I'm not gonna rehang these. I'm just gonna lay them on my kitchen table, and I'll be back and I'll show you a close up of what they look like. I realize I can actually kind of prop them up and make them sit up. I just set them over here. I'm actually going to set it on the other side of the table on the other. So it'll be like a, um, I don't know what I was trying to say. I was going to set these up on the other side, but my daughter's got her school stuff on the other side of the kitchen table. So I just stuck them on this side and I have these little ornaments here. I've got three different sizes. Um, so I bought the ones that were the red and green. These were a dollar fifty a pack uh, from Dollarama. So I got like nine big ones, and then I think it's like twelve medium-sized ones, and like fifteen or something of the smaller ones. So I just kind of scattered them across here. So it looks like you know Santa and his elf at the workshop, you know, uh, wrapping the gifts. Okay, again, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who's subscribing to my channels and watching my videos, and I'll see you in the next ones. Bye.